Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm gonna take you through installing Deploy for the first time and doing a deployment. Um, if you are doing a trial, great. I have already downloaded the uh, install file and I've got my license key copied to my desktop. Uh, if you know, you're getting your license, basically the install's all the same. Uh, we'll just move forward with that. So I'm gonna double click on my install file, okay? Now at this point, it's pretty easy. You take the defaults. I'll mention a couple of changes in there. Again, read the uh, end user license. Basically explains how we license, which is one admin, one license per living, breathing admin. Hit next on that. There's the location we want to install. Hit next on that, and then it does the install. If you are installing deploy and inventory, please put those both on the same machine, the same server, the same desktop, so they can work together. There you go, PDQ Deploy is installed. Let's uh, hit finish and have it launch. When this starts up, it's gonna take us through the setup uh, wizard kind of guide here. So at this point, we'll hit next. Okay, license key. Again, if you're doing a trial, we've emailed you a license key, you're gonna wanna put it in here again. Or if you've got a license key, you just hit license. I'm gonna browse for the file that I've got on my desktop. There's my deploy enterprise, give that an okay. There we go. There's my license. I hit next. Okay. Enterprise installation type. If you're trialing, unless you were going to set this up so that your entire team can use it, I would just do local. Um, if you decide you want to do it with your team and have like three or four people able to access this, you're going to want to watch the videos on installing central server mode. The nice thing is, even if you do it local, you can always swap it into central server mode later. So let's go local. We'll give it a next. It's gonna ask you for credentials. Now, when you do installs and deploy on your machines, you need to have at the very least local admin rights on the machines to do that, okay? Which means either you've got a local admin account, the same on everybody, or in my case, I'm gonna use a domain admin account, which I've got here. I'm gonna type that again, because I think I might've mistyped it. There we go. We give that an okay. What's happening in the background is it is gonna go start up a service and then open the console. At which point, I'm gonna show you how to download a pre-built package and deploy it to uh, machines out on your network. There we go. Couple of things I wanna point out here that are very helpful. Help and documentation resources. The getting started guide, highly suggest that one. We have forums and knowledge base and online documentation. So easy to click those. Okay, if you're in the trial, you've got 14 days to go download packages from our package library, deploy them. Um, after that 14 days, it goes into free mode and you won't be able to download packages, but you'll still be able to, you know, use the free um, features in this. Uh, I think, you know, Let's just grab 7-Zip because it's on top, right? So highlight 7-Zip, a couple things to know. When you highlight it, you'll notice I've got legacy versions if I need to go back and get grab an old one, okay? I've got download selected. When I download this, you notice it's got a package with an arrow. That means it's an auto download. The wonderful thing about that is uh, my preferences under auto downloads is set to seven days, which basically means if a new version, in this case, a 7-Zip comes out, wait seven days and replace it. That is one of the coolest features I know. So here it is, there's 7-Zip to deploy. And again, we're just gonna do a real simple deployment here. I'm gonna deploy, deploy once. And uh, if I know a machine, I'm just gonna type it in Alan Rails. My machines have been named after Marvel superheroes and Rick and Morty characters. Or I can go choose targets from Active Directory or Inventory if you've got Inventory installed. At this point, I'm gonna hit Deploy Now. And there we go, it's gonna go connect to the machine, Allen Rails, and it's gonna start running each of those steps. You notice there's five steps. If you open the package up, you can see these steps. Step one, stop 7-zip. Step two, uninstall a 32-bit, there you go, uninstall a 64, or install the correct application for the correct architecture in this case. So uh, we don't hide this, you guys can see it. These are great templates to build your own custom packages off of. With that, step five, it's successful. You notice I can go see the logging of it. Stop 7-Zip. Apparently 7-Zip wasn't running on there. 
there it is, it's installed. You know what, let me show you how to automate that. We're gonna go grab, I don't know, let's go grab Chrome really quick. Okay, Chrome, I'm gonna download Chrome Enterprise, download it. Now while it's downloading, I'm gonna show you something here. Oop, not there, there, I'm gonna show you inventory. Close that setup because I've already done the setup. And inventory. I'm going to use inventory to determine what and where I need to install uh, or schedule to install for uh, Google Chrome. The way we're going to do that, while inventory is um, firing up there, there we go. I'll take a look. We have collection libraries that we maintain under applications internet browsers. I've got 24 machines that have got Chrome on them. Not a single one of them has the latest version of Chrome. 11 are not installed, which is good because those are servers I didn't want on. 24 of these need a new version. And let's just take a look at Allen Rails. We installed 7-Zip. Hey, there it is. You notice the time we installed it minutes ago. But there's Chrome version 87.88. Okay, so we know this is an old version of Chrome that needs to be updated. Okay, we got 87.141, so yeah, let's go out and schedule this. So instead of deploying once, I'm gonna build a new schedule. I'm gonna say, we'll name this Chrome. Let's run this weekly on, I don't know, Fridays. Let's do it after hours at, uh, I don't know, 7 p.m. Now these do install silently in the background, but you noticed in 7-Zip, we had to close 7-Zip. I just don't want the phone call, so I always do this stuff after hours. Doesn't mean you have to, but I do. Targets. We're going to go choose targets from that inventory collection we were just talking about. And the reason I want to do that is because I want inventory to be the brains of this operation. I don't have to maintain it. I don't want to shotgun it out to the entire network. I'm going to go out and say only install the new version on, of Chrome on a machine that has an old version of Chrome. Okay, there's our package. And ultimately, I want to stop deploying the targets once they succeed. I'm going to give that an OK. And Friday at 7 p.m., it's going to go out, check in with inventory, and install the new version of Chrome on all those machines. Okay. Got some videos on auto downloads that explain auto downloads a lot better, but ultimately what's going to happen is when the new version of Chrome comes out, it's going to download it, and the Friday following that, it's going to update. So at this point, we've taken care of Chrome for the foreseeable future. It's a lot to slam into one video, but guys, again, if you go out to our YouTube channel, and you go look at playlists, there's a deploy playlist where we break all these steps down uh, into short videos so you can cherry pick what you need. And uh, hopefully that'll get you on your way to using PDQ Deploy. I'm Lex from PDQ. Thanks for watching.